And then, I'm gonna call this the shimmy. I'm not familiar with this technique. But, slowly over time. Pull on that uh, arm. Thank you. Now roll That's on the sleeve. Like so you're going to have to pull it down on the sleeve. Now yeah. Pull on that sleeve. Got it. Pull hard. There you go. Excellent. See, you're learning to be a squire already. So once it's on, I kind of saddle it around and shake it around. And now I'm in my shirt. Ah, nothing. Here's my neck, here's the camera that over the neck. Protect from it. it is. Okay, so now it's up. Now I have now some basic protection on. I have my arms, my uh, yet to go, but I have some protection on there. My legs are set. The next thing I would put on would be the one that we showed earlier. And I'm gonna need a little help with this because I have grown prosperous. <laughs> so you're gonna help me by helping me buckle up. My squire here is going to take some of my prosperity and squeeze it down a bit. <laughs> so this actually fits on top, and the shape is such that the armor, just like my legs weight, as we talked about in riding on my hips, the weight of this armor now has to be squeeze down on top of my hip bone. Um, it's part of my arms. So any one buckle, you can get buckled. Down to the bottom may be the best. And if there's a taller person to help him, perhaps they could buckle one of the top buckles. He's going for the top. Is he? He is. Good for him. Can he reach it? If not, perhaps he can do one of the middle ones or bottom ones. He got it. Got it? Fantastic. So what I'm going to do is, thank you with that first one, that was the easiest one. Once you get to the buckle, the rest slowly can be brought in. So what's happening now is the weight is being transferred from the rest of my body onto my hips for my center of gravity. And that's also a difficult place to uh, make a, a joint because you're, you're very fluid here. And I get on and off my horse. When I get on my horse, you know, I saddle up. This rides up so I can ride the horse. When I get off, it drops back down so I can fight. The largest piece here in front is the, the thickest and hardest part because that's where I'm probably going to take a blow. Um, and then the other pieces are lame so that they can be articulated. And here in the back that he's now closing me up, that's where I get a lot of my motion ability because it can move a little bit better. Um, so now I'm down to my arms. You can bring me one of the arms, please. The arms fit on. Again, this armor was made for me. It fits my calves. My legs have this right length. Now the arms are interesting that your elbow is a simple joint. It moves back and forth. This is just a simple joint. But if I would, please, say you're throwing a ball. If you would feel the, your shoulder. So throw your ball. How far back you can go. How far you can reach forward. Or shrug your shoulders up or down forward or back, that's a very complicated joint. It's much more complicated than a simple joint like this. So I have to be able to shrug my shoulders, move forward and back, turn left and right, kind of squeeze them forward and back. That armor has to match that joint. So this is, a, while it's a simple joint, this is a much more complicated mechanism. And it's actually pretty simply made. Simple leather and legs to make it so that it can go back and forth. Now, it has to fit close. I want it to fit over my arms. Again, like my other uh, mentions, it has to be at the exact distance between my shoulder and the elbow or it won't work. The joint would be in the wrong spot. So what he does is, I slip this on like a shirt sleeve. How am I doing? Stuck in the waist. Do I need to be squat, squeezed a little bit more? <laughs> Wherever it's not buckled. Yeah, that feels better. The, the lower piece. 
So it's lifted on like a sleeve. And then it gets tied up at the top at a specific spot so that the arm stays in the right spot, so the elbow is in the right spot. Once tied on, he'll go in and buckle the remaining pieces on, and then I'll be encapsulated inside on the right side. <laughs> Yes. You know, do they do this for movies? When they try to be Sorry? realistic? Do they do this kind of armor? Uh, what? Movies. I'm not familiar with what this is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know all, all, all the knights that I know, they dress uh, they dress like this. Okay. You know? I just uh, they were crazy Would you be in that all day and if you needed to do the necessary situation, how would you? <laughs> <laughs> There's some things you think about before you get in armor. <laughs> that is one of the things I thought about before I got in okay. armor today. How roughly? How long would you be in that? Just for about three hours? Or it four? depends on how long the battle lasts. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I will, as I may have explained earlier, I would um, armor up to a certain point. Uh, and perhaps remain there if we're not knowing when the battle was to begin. Oh, okay. And That's... then finishing armoring. In fact, there's a, something we, you call it trusting your points. For those people who weren't here earlier, my legs are actually attached to my under uh, arming doublet so that the weight transfers from my legs all the way up to this same narrow spot. So all my weight now on my legs, on my body, is now, except for the arms, on my waist. And now that, and that's important because if I was wearing all that on my shoulders, I wouldn't be able to do this all day. And I've got to fight. So it's very important for me to have that type of flexibility and to be able to fight all day long. Now, again, for those people who didn't see earlier, the elbow is a very simple joint, whereas the shoulder has to be one that you can shrug your shoulders, lean your shoulders right and left and turn. That your shoulder is a much more complicated joint than just your elbow. Am I? Oh. So it slides on, sort of like another sh uh, and then ties on at the top. Again, this leaves my shoulders free for that, that movement that I need. Now one of the problems with, with leaving that so open is that that creates a vulnerable spot right here where my shoulders come together. And I haven't been, armors haven't been able to figure out how to make that uh, more protected. So this is a point that I look for when I'm attacking someone. I'm looking for that soft, vulnerable spot when I'm attacking my opponent. Uh, I have seen some knights recently putting small round uh, pieces of armor just to cover up that one spot. And it's been somewhat effective, I think. And this armor, was, as I mentioned earlier, was made for me. So once the shoulder is set, it, it matches the right spot of my, my joint. If you, if you were trying this on and you tied it, you're, you're trying to move my armor, you might not be able to bend your elbow. And that's why well-fitting armor is so important, because if it doesn't match your physiology, you're not going to be able to fight in it. And one of the important things about that is the most important part of a man's fighting equipment is his hands. So if I can have one of the hands, one of the gauntlets, please. My gauntlets are um, really the most important part. And I do have to wear them on the right hand, the correct hand. Now he hasn't finished up. He's finished the arm. So, if, uh, take a look at this if you would, um, and if you would look at your hand for a moment. Notice how your hand has your knuckles that squeeze. Notice very closely how they, they expand over your knuckles because they have to be able to expand over the knuckles or you wouldn't be able to grab your, your sword. My armor tells me that man is made in the image of God and therefore the most perfect of creation. So that if he makes the armor in the image of man, he's got the most perfect armor. And so he made that so that it would, would close just like your hand does. Or even that, that, that oblong on your finger, if you look there and you close, see how your knuckle goes up into it? And how your knuckle goes up into it in these. And he even put fingernails on, though I've not figured out what role that plays in my armor. But he said it looks like man, so I would do it. It does stretch, and that's, that's why that needs to stretch, as so. So, 
Uh, I am now, I'll, I'll hand this around. I want people to take a look at it. If your hand is somewhat close to my fist, see me, let me see your hand. So he, his hand will not fit my armor well because each one of those links was cut to the length of my finger and the joint put in each where my finger should be. So that's why you find some people be able to wear that much more, with much more dexterity. May I